So, uh, coach, how has training been going so far? Yeah, so far. We've been doing well in training. We are making sure we are putting the right measures in place. Okay. Yeah, towards the weekend in town. Okay. Uh, has the folk won 3 0 last Sunday? Does it scare you, coach? That has nothing to do with this match. As to folk winning 3 0, we winning 1 0 away from home. It means nothing. Come Sunday, a better team will win. Uh, are you going into this game with a kind of revenge in court? We saw Hazel Folk uh, beat you for the first time in the first round. So, is it this time? Uh, let me say, are we go should we expect a revenge at this time? No, it's not a revenge. I mean, uh, are you playing or preparing to play? Uh, has uh, Kotoko or any of the big teams, you need to just get uh, yourself ready. I mean, physically, mentally, psychologically, you have to prepare your boys to be able to meet uh, the challenges of the day. I mean, when you want to factor in a revenge, or whatever, I mean, it may derail your preparations and things may turn out against you. So, uh, there's nothing to revenge here. We're just going to into another game to try to win the three points. Okay. Uh, so far, your your team has really been doing well. Uh, which of these two has been working for you currently with the Social Man Football Club? Is it is it your your scouting? Or let me say your recruitment or your tactics and philosophy? Normally, when you are bringing in any player, you have to know uh, the role the person is coming to play. I mean, we have we had a good squad from the beginning, but uh, we thought about it uh, bringing one or two players to you know augment the squad to at least uh, be competitive in every match. You know, we had players, but uh, we needed to at least bring one or two midfielders and fullbacks because we sold one and our midfield wasn't that thick. When one or two players are not there, uh, we, we have found one thing. That is what we wanted to prevent by bringing in Nibote and uh, Aqua and the rest. So, uh, preparation has been good and uh, it's good we took off on a very good note and uh, we hope to continue. When we started the league, it was like that. We started very well. We prepared the team when we went for the pre-season. We worked so hard and we had a good start. And in the second round, we've had a good start again. So we hope to keep the momentum going. So uh, that means uh, both your, your recruitment and your, your philosophy, tactics or training. Have been have, have been working so well for you. The yeah, players go. are doing so. Well. They are just working very hard. That is what is making everything work. You can have all the talent, all the good players, but if they are not responding in training, then uh, every effort will be derailed. But the players are working so hard. They understand exactly what we want from them. So they go out there to at least play and try to achieve the goals of uh, the day. Okay. So um, we saw some in, uh, indiscipline acts in the uh, last game against us of folk. I'm talking about in the first round. Uh, your captain on the day, Philip Ofori, had a red card and we saw uh, Sadat also uh, taking a yellow card, which some of us feel it really affected the team and even caused the loss of the team. Uh, what have you have you been doing this time round to change that ahead of this game against Asofoki again? Yeah, that's the psychological aspect I was talking about in the beginning. You know, you go out there at a crossbow stadium and uh, the whole world is watching you. You can't begin those things. I mean, we had ourselves to blame back then when he, he took that decision. I mean, to hit the player. You know, that is not part of football. So when it happened, we took it in good faith, but we made sure that we at least managed for us not to you know, score some more goals. We held them until the end of the 90 minutes. I mean, running away with that slim uh, scoreline was okay for me, because the red card happened so early in the game. Uh, I did not be in the hard work the players put in, the team would have considered three, four goals. But uh, we managed to run away with uh, a slim loss. 
and that has taught us a lot. We've learned a lot of lessons. You can really see that those things are not happening again. The cars we are getting is normal, uh, everyday yellow cars and red cars, but it's not as a result of our player hitting somebody uh, and getting the, 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 the red card. I mean, we've learned a lot from that and we think that will never happen again. Oh, well, uh, there's a bad in uh, hype around Hasufok again. Uh, we've been experiencing this for quite a number of times and currently there's one because they've dissolved their board and uh, reconstituted a new one and also uh, brought a new coach, Watara, of which I know you might have maybe ever played against once or maybe I don't know the number of times. Uh, well, uh, uh, any pressure meeting him and his team has to cook? I mean, uh, the new coach came in, he's doing well in his first game, he did so well. And has board being dissolved. Like I said, that has nothing to do with the Sunday's game. And remember, anytime you see us trying to, you know, organize themselves as if they are not ready, they have issues here and there, you need to prepare yourself very well. It's not a team that these things can affect their output on, on the field. So you just need to prepare and also try and go out there to beat them. The ball, something has nothing to do with what is going on on the field of play. So let's prepare ourselves and get ready for them. Okay, coach, are you beating House of Four come Sunday? We have to beat them. Are you winning the league? To, to, to really do well in the league, these are home points we need to win. So we are doing everything possible to at least carry the day. Are you winning the league? The league is too early yet. So it's still early to talk about the league. Because we have very difficult matches coming in. We play House of Oak on Sunday, play Dreams, and go to Summer Tech. So these are all difficult games that we need to prepare very well and just get ready one match after the other. And we are careful and we put our axes together. I think we can gather these points and move on. All right, thank you very much, Coach. Thank you. Okay, general manager. Yeah, evening. Yeah. Ah, so how, how have you been feeling? Well, it's a normal feeling uh, playing against us. It's a very normal feeling. It's just like any other game. We don't want to put ourselves under any pressure. And uh, we are just preparing, as you can see, preparing and getting ourselves ready for the game. So, no pressure? No, not at all. It's us. So, I mean, they are not coming with 14 players. We are going to play 11 against 11 on the field of play. And I think that um, some of these things, yes, with the name, it's a big name. Yes, with history, it's a big club with a lot of history. But per current form, I don't think they are anywhere close to what we are doing. So I don't see the reason why there should be pressure on us. If there is anybody who should be under pressure, it should be Akra Hatsufu. They beat you in the first round. What are you doing differently this time around? Well, a lot of changes have taken place since we played that game, match day two. As we speak now, we are going to play match day 19. So uh, between that time and now, a lot of changes have happened in our team. And I'm sure it's happened in their team as well. They've changed technical direction among other things. You know, so clearly we we have beefed up the team in the second round. And clearly all the new players are settling in so well. From the two games we've played both in the FA Cup and our first league game of the season. It's been great, as if they've been here for, for, for a year or so. So, for us, we've done a lot of things differently and I think that this is the reason why we are so confident that we'll pull the results on Sunday. Wow. People have been giving so much credit to you on how far you've assembled uh, one of the best squads currently in the league. How did you do it? What is your secret in assembling these guys? <laughs> Well, I think a lot of credit also goes to the technical team as well and any other person who works around the team. It can be a one-man show. And uh, anybody who knows me knows that my, but, but, my but, biggest But you strength. did most of, most of the, 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 the scouting yes, too, along, but, alongside your coach. <laughs> but anybody who knows me in Ghana football knows that my biggest strength is my scouting ability. I, I, people think I do much more of administration. But for me, I think my strength lies more in identification of talents. And I think... That is one of the things that if you know me too well, you can associate me with. And there are two, countless players that I mean we've brought into limelight. We can talk about the lives of Richard Ofuri, a whole lot of them. So clearly we, we when we see a talent, we know. 
and that is exactly what we are trying to replicate over here. Okay. Uh, I've been seeing quite a number of uh, youthful players and in football, we all understand when we, when we talk about youthful players, we mean maybe players who are less than 20 years or so. So I've been seeing most of them in the current instruction mine team. Um, what, is, what is so far your plan for them? Why, why do we find them in your, in your squad? Because it's a premiership, it's not an academy uh, league. Well, of course. Um, I'm a business-oriented person, and uh, you look you look around this place, and you see all this infrastructure happening around here. It's millions of dollars. I mean, you cannot continue to rely on one person to be coughing the money from his pocket. And so, to be able to get returns on the investment that the owners of this facility are putting in, it means that you need to recruit a lot of younger players and and bring them in through the system where they can have resale value. And today. For a player to get to Europe, you need to be within the bracket of 17, 18, 19, maximum. And so if you are not having these kind of players in your setup, then of course, you are not in business. So for us, we are looking at the next two years, making sure that the average age in this team will be about 20 years. If I continue to be here, I'm sure in the next two years, the, the oldest player in this team will be 20 years. And this is because we are trying to set up a marketing model where we will be able to sell players in the near future and then be able to rake in some revenue to I mean, augment whatever the owners are putting in. And that's how come you see a lot of 16, 17, 18 year old boys in the team. We have about eight to nine of them already in the first team. And I don't think there is anything wrong with that, given the opportunity they play. We've seen Wafa come with 16 and 17 year old boys to play in the Premier League and beat other teams 6-0, 5-0. So clearly, they've shown us the way that is doable. You don't really need to bring in older players to be able to compete in the league. We are competing and you can see we are competing very well. So the younger players are the future and the way to go. Well, um, uh, General Manager, any any promise for your guys? Any special package for your guys ahead of Paso Fos game? Well, uh, you know how we do it. Uh, the promise will arrive by by Sunday morning, mm -hmm. and when we are getting ready, as usual, the big boys will be here themselves. The board chairman will be here. The deputy board chairman will be here. Board members will be here. All the top brass executives of the Swatemai Football Club will be here. And when they assemble like this, you know what it means. Yeah. And the promise will come at the time the guys are getting ready for the game. And once that happens, Asofo could be in trouble. And what have you, uh, what have you been discussing with your uh, executive board chair in terms of the package to be given to them? Can you give us a clue? Well, they know. Uh, we, are, we are having itchy, itchy ears. Well, they the moment. know. They know. You, you were here at the Kotoko game. You saw how we got each player 5,000 Ghana cities. Could be more this time around. It could be more because these three points are so special and are so dear to us that we really want to do everything possible to run away with the three points. And we are playing at home, don't forget. It's very crucial. Any three points you drop, especially at home, it makes it much more difficult for you in the next game. So uh, we may probably not be able to play the next home game and we're traveling to Samatex against the league leaders. So we need these three points badly. It's a must win for us. Should also folk be scared? Well, I think they should be scared. Uh, they should be scared because the whole of the season, in our last eight games, at this favorite grounds, we've considered just one goal. I think if you are, you are part of the, the setup at Hasselfog, you should be worried that this is not a team that shape in goals. So you will be asking yourself, how do we score? And that is a headache. And for us, we will score. The onus lies on them as to how they will manage to put a ball in our net. That is their own headache. But for us, we are up for the game and we are very sure we will score. Mr. Laji Dede, why, why do you sound so confident on beating House of Folk? Well, I look at the strength of my team and uh, I look at the fact that there are six points adrift of us. We are not there by fluke. Um, it's not by chance. It's by dint of hard work. And it's the same hard work we've put in from the beginning of the season up to this time. And we are still continuing. So for us, um, it's the same hard work we've put in. And we are so confident in the team that we know playing at home, especially playing at our favorite home grounds, is going to be a massive victory. Any scoreline? Well, I'm not, I'm not going to predict a scoreline. The only thing I can tell you is that we are winning. Whether it's by 1-0, 2-0, whichever scoreline, 
we are interested in amassing the three points. And whichever score line, how the goal comes, I don't even want to look at it. Whether it's a penalty from whichever. At the end of the day, on Sunday by 5 p.m., all we want to see is that the people around in Swatre, our fans all over the world and in the Buno Ahafu region, in Accra, every other place across Ghana, everybody will be smiling and we'll go home party. Mr. Eric Alajididi, General Manager in Swatre, my football club. Did you say you are beating House of Folk this come, uh, come this Sunday? Of course. It, it's, it, I mean, it's not even a question of whether we want to beat them. We are beating are them beating on Sunday. Come Sunday. We are beating them on Sunday. All those who want to see, just come to the stadium early. I can promise you, we will score an early goal. So if you delay, you may not see the action. Come early, because maybe by the time you will come, the goal would have been scored. Are you winning the league? Well, um, that is not part of our, our agenda for the season. For us, we wanted to do well, and uh, I think we've started doing well. It's still work in progress. As you can see, um, at a point in time, we dropped down the ladder. We started climbing again. Some time ago, we were on top. That is how the league is. So we keep working. It's one game after the other. We want to do well and make sure we finish the league on high. Anything that comes, it's a bonus to us. Something small for your uh, fans. Well, we are grateful. Uh, we saw how the troop to Bechim to come and support us in the midst of all the intimidation and every other thing that happened in Bechim. They still stood by the team. We saw how they, they, they guided the bus back to Swatre. That is massive. Uh, we want them to turn up in their numbers. And for the House of Folk fans who are watching, those who are on social media, those who are in Bronga Hafu, those all over the world, we want them to come today. Nana Kromansa, the second pack on Sunday at Chumasiku. They should come and witness beautiful football and see how we take House of Folk down. Uh, lastly, uh, that, that reminds me of what you just said currently. Uh, I've been hearing rumors and I've seen um, news circulating on the social media and some reportage uh, on how you, you made mention that uh, if a combined 11 is to be made for House of Folk and Instructor Mine ahead of this game, uh, House of Folk wouldn't have three or more than three players into the combined 11. Did you say that and why that? Yes, I said that and I, I still stand by it. If I am to put the House of Folk 11 and do a combination with that of Instructor Mine, the only players I will probably choose from the House of Folk setup will be right back Michael Ampadu because Manuel Kote is going to Kotoko. Will be Gled Otanga, the, the Congolese midfielder, okay. and probably Hamza Isa. These are the three players who would make it into the team. Okay. In any other department, we are miles ahead. And it's not even debatable. The statistics are there. You put Salif Ibrahim against Umar Manaf. It's there for all to see. If you put Steven Dior, I don't know whether Subontin or whoever is going to Salim. play on that side. It doesn't come close. Salim just returned. He, he just played one game. So we won't even put him in the equation. But you put Richard Atta against Daniel Afadu. It, it doesn't, it doesn't, the stats are there for all to see. Eric Osebos, who are the left back. Three goals, three assists. Corsa doesn't come anywhere close. You look at our central defense of Ufuri and Isaka as compared to maybe um, Yes, of uh, SCB yeah, yeah, and, and, uh, and Agbesima. Agbesima yeah. They've considered so many goals. And there's um, Opong Afrani. Yes, Opong Afrani has been out injured, hasn't played too much. So clearly, the only place you can fix in those three guys are Glade Otanga in midfield, probably, uh, maybe at the right back position, and Hamza Isa. But come Sunday, we'll tame all of them here, for sure. So, you are beating House of Four come Sunday? Sure. Let's watch it. It's out. a must win. Thank you very much. It's a must win.